Hello everyone and welcome back to No Code School. There will be several instances in your work and personal routine where you need to send similar content but with slight customizations to a large number of people. You could type up the customized content for each and send them individually, but that is a tiring and time-consuming process. Now this is where mail merge comes in. Mail merge is a feature that is present within most data processing applications that enables users to send similar content or document to a large set of recipients. And one such add-on that makes it even more easier is YAM or yet another mail merge. It allows you to send mass emails with Gmail that does not end up in promotions or spam. And it also lets you track results in real time directly from Google Sheets. Now let's say you own a store and you need to send customized coupon codes of varying discount percentage to your frequent customers. Let's see how we can do this with YAM in just a few clicks. Now the first step is to prepare your mailing list in Google Sheets. I have created here a sample discount details sheet. I have the first name and the last name of the customer. The coupon code which you can see is different for each customer. The discount rate or the percentage of discount which is different according to the coupon code and the email addresses of all the customers. Now before we move on to step 2, we need to make sure that we have YAM installed. To install YAM, go to Extensions, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, search for YAM. As you can see, there are several other similar add-ons available too. And you can install YAM from here. Let's close this. Now moving on to step 2, you have to create your email template in Gmail. I have created a sample draft over here. So now to include data from your Google Sheet, you need to place them in placeholders corresponding to the column header from your sheets. For example, to include the first name from the sheet, I need to place them in between two curly brackets. So you can see I have used first name, last name, rate, coupon code from the sheet into my draft. You can even customize your subject line. So now let's save the draft and go to step 3. Step 3 is to send and track your emails. Let's go to Sheets, Extensions, yet another Mail Merge, Start Mail Merge. Emails will be sent to recipients in column E because that is where our email addresses are stored. But if that's not the case, you can change the column over here. Sender's name, email template. This is the only draft I have in my Gmail account. But if you have several drafts, you can select the one from the list that is given. You can schedule when you want to send your emails. I am going to send four of my emails now. All the emails have been sent and as you can see, a new column has been added, merge status, which shows the status of the emails and it shows that all the emails have been sent. Let's check our inbox. Let's open one of them and we can see that our subject line has the first name of our customer. We have the first and last name here. We have the discount percentage here and we have the coupon code corresponding to Alicia Holland over here. Now when I go back to Sheets, I can see that the merge status corresponding to Alicia Holland shows that the email has been opened. So that's the end of this video. There are several other mail merge extensions that you can use. Please try them out too. And if you want us to feature any no-code products, do let us know in the comment box below.